speaking of things that are changing, um, why is it that America is no longer talking about the pandemic? I mean, I just heard that uh, the vice president uh, has COVID-19. But do you notice how you don't hear as much about COVID in, on the news now as you did um, a year ago or even so six months ago? I mean, COVID ain't went nowhere. No different than the, the flu. It hasn't gone nowhere. Uh, you know, short answer fewer people are getting tested um yeah that that's that's that would be the reason why i don't think like you see de-escalated numbers and like i know i live you know in the wyandotte county area and they just lifted the mass mandate you know in the school system you know mm -hmm. uh starting i think it started this week um you know it's now an option you don't have to wear it um but I think it, it just boils down to it's the summertime, springtime leading in the summer. People want to have get-togethers. So they're not going to go out and um, be as cautious, I would say, as you would in the winter months. And I also think that the actual COVID, just like the flu, is going to hit you more when it's a cooler month you know, like the, the fall and the winter. So that's why everything escalates then. So you think it's going to ramp up? Uh, once oh, we, yeah. I mean, fall? if you follow, if you look at the stats the last, I mean, since the pandemic hit, you know, last year, spring, summer, you know, the, the COVID talk dwindled. And then, bam, here we are going into fall and, and uh, winter. And now we have another mass mandate again, you know. Mm. Um. And I think also what helps is more people are getting vaccinated, you know, for whatever that's worth, whether you believe in it or not. And I think that um, that's also part of it. Plus, they're, they don't need to, dis the news doesn't need to distract you with something else right now. When they start yep. talking about COVID again, you know, something else big is happening and they want to take, your, take you away from it. Ain't that the truth? All right. Now, now, hopefully that part stays in this, the deal and they don't, you know, delete it or bleep it out. I will say this, too. Um, as far as uh, Vice President Harris uh, contracting virus, uh, prayers out to her and uh, any family members that she's been in contact with that, you know, it's mild and that she gets better soon. And anybody out there who's currently suffering from it, prayers out to them as well. Um, I've never got it. Amazingly enough, I've, as much as I'm around my kid and my wife who both have had it, I've never got it. So, you know, I'm lucky and blessed at the same time. So I don't know what it's like, but from everybody that's told me, it's not something you really want to mess around with. Yep, same here. Um, I'm with you. Been blessed, haven't got it either. So, um, just continue to do and, what I do and, and take myself I as did, best I can. I did get vaccinated because just because I haven't got it doesn't mean that I don't want to, you know, get it and pass it on to somebody else. You exactly. Know, I'm, I'm being responsible. Exactly. All right. Let me get off my soapbox. Let's get back to some more fun stuff here. All right. 